evolution and have a Jupiter application of that. So no matter what calibration algorithm went in there, they would all have common input and output, and so they could use the common post-processors. The only application that's been released to date is UCODE 2005, but we encourage development of more applications, and not just calibration tools, but also uncertainty modules. So this is perfect for adding a Monte Carlo simulation or the generalized likelihood uncertainty estimator. Keith Bevan and a student are looking into making a Jupyter application for that. Perhaps Acuars recently in WRR, it was suggested as a method that would be more efficient than glue in evaluating parameter uncertainty. So not just calibration and uncertainty evaluation, but Jupyter is ready to make codes for sensitivity analysis, data needs assessment, optimization. Chung Miao Zhang is working with a student to add an optimization algorithm to the Jupyter family. So all the codes in the Jupyter family can be uh, downloaded. They're available to the public. The USGS mounts anything that has a USGS author involved in it. So they have mounted so far Jupyter and UCode. I might mention the Jupyter API includes modules that will allow you to make parallel processing of multiple computer runs possible. Uh, you can quickly just call that module and use a cluster of computers to make the calculations. UCode, as I mentioned, is a parameter estimator and has a number of associated codes for evaluating your model. Uh, two that are in review at the USGS include MMA, multi-model analysis. Uh, that does the type of work I've been talking about today the multi-model weighting and averaging of the predictions and the parameters. And it is written in a very general way, so you can use any of the common criteria or create your own criterion. And then the other one in review is OPR, PPR. And this looks at the importance of observations or parameters to your predictions. So once you've calibrated a model, you could ask, should I go out and measure a water level, make another aquifer test, or measure a flow rate? Which one of those would be most effective in reducing my parameter uncertainty? my prediction uncertainty. And so that can help you to design your next field program. Now the USGS can only mount those applications that have USGS authors. So if you have a Jupyter application that does not have a USGS author and you would like to get it out there to the world to use, let me know because at IGWMC we mount all the Jupyter applications, USGS and otherwise, and this I would make a link to your site and so your code could be used by the general public. So just to conclude, I'd like to point out that we can identify which one model can be best calibrated to our data, but that does not necessarily mean that it's the best predictor. And so when we ask the question, which models are useful, it really has to be a group of models that are diverse, that are transparent, that are well calibrated, and are used to multi-model average the predictions. Jupiter's goal is to help us advance in this endeavor. I like to think of it as a well-functioning political system where each model represents a politician. And each politician has their own bias and their own narrow view of the world. But we get them all working together, and pretty soon we reach a reasonable decision. And on that optimistic note, I'll leave you with the website for the Darcy Lecture. I am happy to answer any questions you may have this afternoon. And I thank you so much for coming today.